Hello, everybody. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. I don't know why I'm doing the voice. Depending on what time it is for you where you are. Happy Friday! Welcome to your weekend. Weekend dance? Who has zero thumbs and had to go into work sick today for mandatory training? Oh, no. Where'd my thumbs go? Oh, hello, hello. How is everybody doing today? We're, we're a little... A little more crooked than normal. You know what? It's fine. Silver Stitcher, thank you for the 27 month reset. Appreciate it. How did raid testing go? It was a uh, little bonko, little bananas at the beginning. I'd never seen them mess up in that particular way. Like it's raid testing, so it's always kind of chaotic. Uh, you expect it to have some issues. And sometimes it takes a while for them to get like the boss activated, so that's no big deal. But this time, not only did it start late, and not only was the boss that you were intended to test first not up for a while, but they turned on the rest of the bosses, <laughs> like randomly. And some of them were doing mechanics, and some of them were doing like a mechanic, and then some of them were just target dummies. And it was, it was so silly. Um, it was very goofy. So I have some pretty useless footage of a couple of random bosses that we haven't tested yet. And then we did eventually get some good some good pulls in on the relevant bosses. So I'm pleased. It went well. But um, I'd never seen chaos of that particular flavor before. I do have another short stream today. I'm going to be on for somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 minutes again. Just itty bitty baby ones, just like I used to do. Did you know that once upon a time, I used to stream for 90 minutes a stream... Once a week or twice a week? I think it might have been like Tuesdays and Fridays back on YouTube. Boss 1 felt super undertuned compared to Boss 2. Boss 2 was pretty hard. Um, boss 1, we ended up killing it on our third pull, which was fine because we were out of time on it anyways. Like, they left it open a little longer, but we wanted to make sure we got time on Bloodband Horror. And then uh, that, one was, that one was pretty cool. Uh, I have met John Hype before. His name doesn't have an E in it, though. Um... It was a long time ago. Got home from a short walk, got burrito bowls. Nice. Ring testing was messy. All right, I have some cues. I think I'm gonna poke around at maybe some, I'm gonna do some dailies and some raids with Flabby in a little bit, but until he's on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe do a, do a little, should I do Lei Shen? I might do Lei Shen. Oh, there's a rare. <laughs> I guess I should do a, a status update on Squidgy. She is item level 476 as she reached the day before yesterday, I think. My threads are up to 145k. They're zooming pretty fast now that the spools are tripled, basically. And then if we check our Pandaria Bronze Completion Week Aura, we can see that I need another 408,000 bronze to buy the rest of the stuff in the vendors. I bought tusks yesterday at the end of stream and we made a transmog for Anthus with them. I also went and bought some more sets. I bought some, I don't know. I bought some of the Garrosh heirlooms. I don't really know why I care about the Garrosh heirlooms. Like I know that they're not available anymore. And that doesn't really mean much to me. And it's the only thing they have going for them to, I mean, I maybe I just don't get it. Like I, I know they're good or whatever, but they only scale to level 39. Isn't that annoying? <laughs> also, I have so many characters. When am I gonna need heirlooms again? And yeah, they have appearances, but like, they're all horde appearances. Ew. Um, bots are back at the flame rare on aisle. Mm. After 100k, you're doing ridiculous things. They're great for mage tower. Mm. Are you ready to predict another sporting event you know nothing about and can make you potentially look not great? Hit me. Realize when I'll ever level an alt again after remix. Still a plus one. Yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm still going to get them all. Because um, I'm going to get everything, but... I'm more excited about about clearing out the rest of the stuff. I've gone too far. I wanted to do Lei Shen Trove because that's like real good now with all the threads you get from it. Um, I don't have an extra pair of boots handy. I've kind of given up on the door shadows thing anyway. The, the, the no path available is really upsetting me. So I've decided to just run, run, run as fast as I can, do my best and loot whatever I can do in five minutes. And that's been working out fine for me. Well, there's our daily key. Got all amounts, started the team mog. The grind is still fun. The big bronze buff really invigorated it for me. Like, I was ready to do my dailies and do my rage clears and farm, but it's sure nice that it's giving me twice. Oopsies. It's sure nice that it was that it's now giving me twice as much as it was gonna. Never thought the tusks would work so well in the Blood Elf, but man, this has 
Let's prove me wrong. So many 70s from doing the alt farm. Never level these to 80. I do think 70 to 80 is going to be a, <laughs> a bit of a project. I usually don't get all of my alts level to level cap until like the very end of the expansion, if then. Sometimes they'll lag behind for an expansion. Um, Garish Earlims, I think... Oh, actually, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Yeah, maybe they're upgradable. So, all right. The European Football Championship starts today. Hooray. Uh, 24 European national teams in a month-long tournament. All you need to do is pick a European country um, for football. Foot Football. European country. I'm guessing this isn't a game of pick the most obscure European country you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Do I win brownie points if I pick Germany? Basically stuck in the low 80% for remix because of all the weapons. Oh, oh! I haven't looked at my all the things percentage. I bet that would be kind of upsetting. Okay, run, run, run as fast as you can. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. I'm the gingerbread man. Not going to pull it, type out all the participants too many and I'm lazy. Okay, I will think of a country. Let me think. Who looks like they'd be good? Is it too obvious to say Spain? Let's not pick something obvious. Let's pick something wacky. <laughs> I feel like my odds are less good than with the Super Bowl where it was like a coin flip of two teams that were good enough to make it to the Super Bowl. You not get brownie points. All right, well then. <laughs> Kill big ad. <sighs> Yeah, we want these spools. Legendary would be beautiful, but even just the... Even the green ones are still good now. Sometimes I can... No, I can't. Okay, we're not gonna worry about it. Whoa! Whoa! Getting a little better at the traps. Not perfect, but... A little better. No! I was so close! I almost made it! <sighs> Blast. Do it again before the final. Fun to pick a team and root for it. Yeah, I guess I just don't know anything about any of them. I'm gonna say Italy. That's my that's my final answer. <laughs> they play, right? It's the helper trap to let you know you almost made it. Mm. Found a cloak week where shows threads on unit frame makes finding my PI target much easier on pugs. Ooh. That's clever. Do I have any spools yet? Not really. Pretty abysmal. But I do like to get to the end and just clean these ones up first and then kind of go back a little bit. There's an epic spool. Another epic spool. It's not- most days I find I don't get legendary spools from this. Although I'm certainly doing this far from optimally. It's okay. That's not bad. So, let's see. What I've been doing recently, I'm no good at jumping up to that one. But if I scoot around and jump up and onto there and then down and then I'm water walking myself, if my pet can ever catch up to me, I can get this one pretty easy. We jump down, we check the ledges for any good ones. We get out of the pond there into this pond here. Whoa. And then there's some stuff usually back here, kinda. We've got 83 seconds. And this is usually not too bad to get up on. So I can kind of go up and then disengage and now I can get these guys. We've got 68 seconds left. Disengage is like my main 
my main tool for doing this doing this with any degree of decency. Whoa! And then we'd be very careful. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. <laughs> One more. Legendary spool! <sighs> I hate jumping puzzles in this game. <laughs> Just be a demon hunter for it. I don't, I don't do I got 30 seconds left, but I don't think I'm going to get anything good. I don't usually make that jump. I think that might have been the first time I did it. <sighs> hate jumping puzzles in any game. True, but they're especially annoying in this game. <laughs> because um, I feel like the movement in this game is not precisely... I don't know, it just doesn't feel good. I don't like it, because I don't like it. <laughs> it's no fun. Also, this is really loud. Throne of Thunder's kind of going off right now. <sighs> good choice, current champions tournament every four years. Oh, if you're doing big numbers, you get a funny button. <laughs> Turn that down just a little bit. Uh, you can do as many as you want if you have the key, but you can only get one key per day. So it kind of depends on if you, like, when you have time. I usually do it every day as I get the key, but if I remember to get my key at the very end of the day, I'll just grab the key and then I'll do, like, a double run the following day. You get your key from turning in the ten charms of good fortune at your throne of Isle of Thunder camp. And then, alright, you ready to, for the cloak to get boosted? We're at 145k threads. And then there's 60 crit. 150 mastery, 150 crit, 60 mastery, 300 versa, 300 haste, 300 crit, 600 stamina, 300 stamina, and 540 agility. Thank you very much. Up to 148k threads. Uh, Palace is like the, the treasure trove of Lei Shen. I don't know the exact name of it. It's that, that little scenario that I just did. Okay, I think Flabby's around. So I'm gonna invite him. I'm gonna go kind of camp Lei Shen, and I'm gonna get us into our dungeon queues. I'm gonna queue for the normal one first, actually. Um, because I find that queue takes longer. Because lots of people do heroics for power leveling alts, but people don't really go in normals anymore unless they need that, like, one daily. <sighs> Have you played the war within beta? And if so, what are your thoughts? A little bit. I was on beta yesterday for raid testing. I haven't played as much beta as I've played alpha. I wanted to put some time into delve testing. I don't know when, but some soon. Nanny, thank you for the 60-month resub. Holy moly, where did that time go? Thank you for the entertaining stream and informative videos. Thank you very much for sticking with me for 60 months. 6-0. Six but yeah, I'm excited for the War Within so far. I like Hero Talents a lot. I like them more than I thought I would. Raid testing starts at the same time today, and it runs an extra hour because they're doing three bosses up from two. It's like five years. It's <laughs> a long time in someone's life. Hmm. I am having a good day so far. Oh, it's going to be a long day because of raid testing and whatnot, but... That's, that's all right. <laughs> I've worked out the schedule. The news video tomorrow will be not out at like 6 in the morning, but I'm going to try as hard as I can to get it out before stream. But I am going to do most of my editing tomorrow in the morning, <laughs> as opposed to tonight, because I think that after raid testing, I'm going to be a fried potato. And I'm better off just not trying. Think about how much you have changed in five years. You mean like on a, on a cellular level? <laughs> it's probably like a math answer for that. Fried potatoes are the best potatoes. You were in your mid-twenties five years ago. This is true. It still freaks me out a little bit that I was in my early twenties when I started all of this. <sighs> Easy to stick to. Aww. Bro, Jimbo, thanks for giving out ten gift subs. <laughs> Congrats to those who picked him up. Love the names. Couple familiar ones. <laughs> I don't think I've met Kate Bush, babe, but I'm, I'm, I'm all, all, all about it. Two and a half WoW expansions. Oh, I... Thanks for giving me your thoughts. Hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, thank you. I've heard you replace all your skin cells in roughly seven years. What if I take really hot showers? <laughs> Do you think it happens faster if I'm actively poaching myself every day? I'm not saying 
it's a good idea. I'm just saying. Thanks for answering my question last time I was here. Of course. There's my Flabby left this scenario. We must be done. Let's leave that one. <sighs> you know why I'm happy this morning? It's a weird reason. Sounds cozy. Could use a nice hot sinus clearing shower. Yeah, so good for that. This is just an average. I don't know all the details. <laughs> hot showers are the only showers. Listen, the cold plunge and the cold shower crowd have some good points. Um, I think the conclusion that I've come to is unless it's a real dire circumstance, while I do want to improve myself, I don't want to that badly. <laughs> I want I want to I want to I want to find a middle ground behind doing my best and uh and being the best version of myself and then also like living my life without hating it. There's there's a balance somewhere. <laughs> An aggressive loofa will make it shorter. Wife takes cold showers, thinks she's nuts for it. They they do a great job of like waking you up and jolting your brain to like focus. If you've got like the brain fog and you're fuzzy and you're like, "Oh, I just have to do like another two hours of whatever um a cold shower will will zap you right there <laughs> it's also miserable but it'll uh it'll, it'll shock you out of it works a treat i hate it though great once in a while especially on a crazy hot day i'm a baby when it comes to cold water i don't even like swimming in water when it's cold unless it has to be like above 30 celsius before i'm willing to go into the lake and i need the lake to be like not freezing like i <laughs> i grew up doing swimming lessons outdoors and and the lake was always cold and they were always in the morning and i hated it <laughs> i always hated it <sighs> wonder if your hunter will feel less fun to play after it gets converted to a regular retail character oh sure absolutely just doing quest campaigns mm -hmm. i think it'll i'll uh have some feelings about it not being like I think the thing I'll miss most is not the damage necessarily because I think in my mind the crazy damage is tied to remix so I once I'm not farming Siege of Argomar anymore I'm gonna be I'm gonna make my peace with not doing like insane damage but I've gotten very used to the run speed <laughs> she's just perma sprinting she's running at like fast ground mount speed just anywhere and that's before you get into like the post haste disengage sprint or heaven forbid aspect of the cheetah like my my movement speed is just so fast. And you can, you know, a girl can get used to that. Bear Bakery, thank you for the 56 month resub. Happy Friday, Hazel and chat. Happy Friday to you. All speed gems. This is why people make speed dreads. Yeah. I mean, I know. I've done it. We've been there. We've made that video at least once. I'm at 47. I think my speed gems would only give me 2% more. People were saying that movement speed from speed gem or from speed stat caps at 49%, which would indicate that I'm almost there. Erisun, thank you for the 34 month reset. How many remix characters will you end up leveling? And will that lead to another memorable purge? I leveled. How many characters have I leveled? I don't know, a handful. More than two and less than seven, I think. Um, I don't plan on purging any of them. <sighs> Thoughts on Fluby like this? Oh. <laughs> I don't think that floaty is gonna achieve buoyancy. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna cut it. <laughs> I hope your chicken can swim 13 5, 5 20 speed my cloak still at 49 percent mm. i feel like I, oh yeah the the character purge thing i don't plan on another one the main thing that i was enjoying about purging the characters last time is i had so many that had names that i didn't want anymore um and i didn't want to like name change all of them but i could see a world where it would happen again do you like things having heart attacks falling over at 10%? Okay. Uh, I hate this scenario because I don't understand it because I don't pay enough attention to like learn what's going on. I just know you have to like run around a bunch and that I usually don't do a swell job of like carrying the stuff to the door. I know you're supposed to deliver a bunch of stuff. 
why are you happy today? Oh yeah, I'm happy for a weird reason. That's right. <laughs> I'm finally making some progress on my books. Well, I've made the progress in my books already, but like, um, I'm finally getting somewhere with my accountant. And I got numbers that allowed me to pay or start paying my estimated taxes for this year. And I did them all at once. I'm paid up through the end of 2024. I've paid taxes on money I ain't even made yet. Um, and the re I did that for like reasons, but it feels good because um, <laughs> every year it's just like this huge drama to like get get the tax return sorted out and then get everything settled. And I feel like I'm finally getting to the end of it. Nice. I got my 2022 revision refi filed. Um, that I've signed the 2023 one. I'm confident that all of the information is correctly handled this time and that I understand what they want. <sighs> it's still messy as all as all hell, but I, I have a better idea of how to do it now. So I think next year, especially if I start really early, won't be as bad. Fingers crossed. I said that the year before too. <laughs> DM. Serapco, thank you for the six month race of half a year. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was ugly. It was messy. I spent literally like a month and a half of work days working full time on just fixing my books because of like trying to learn how to do it um, and to specifically for my situation, but I, it's all good now. And now the, the other reason I was excited to have actually like paid the taxes is that I was able to now take a good look at my savings and figure out kind of where I'm at um, in terms of my house saving goal because I was a little afraid that I was like well I know that I'm fixing the tax thing not fixing it but like you know <laughs> I know I'm getting to the bottom of it I'm sorting it out there's like refunds here and there's there's like overpayments and underpayments and this got reassessed and then this still has to be paid and it's like all kind of hard to to visualize because it was all very much in flux. And now that it's kind of like the dust is settling, I can sort of look and be like, okay, this is this is paid now. Um, this is what's this is what's left over. This is what's in this various accounts. And I'm I guess relieved <laughs> that I'm not dead broke because I was a little afraid that when I figured it all out, that I would have no money. I don't think that was ever like an actual um, risk because I do say I do set aside um, money for, for taxes. I'm aware that they're a thing, but I was I was like, it was all so confusing and so difficult that I was like, I actually like, <laughs> what if it just takes all my money and it didn't? How much money do you have, Kappa? Uh-huh. I told Moosey I have enough money that I can get him some more dog treats. And then he started wagging his tail. I think he understood. <laughs> Six months in advance commitment. My first payment was late because the first one's due in like April, but we didn't even get this stuff figured out until like now. So they like charge you interest on that, but you can recoup that by paying your later payments early. Um, so I just decided to lump sum the whole thing. Um, I have bookkeeping software. QuickBooks wasn't right for me. Pronounce my last name correct. <laughs> this is deeply surprising to me, but I'm glad. Had my wife do my taxes until I bought my own business. I don't even try anymore. <sighs> I try, I try, I tried to hire somebody to do it. And I ended up having to do a lot more of it than I expected to. And maybe I just need to find someone else to do it. But now that I know how to do it, like the all of these back and forths and revisions and we need this info and this info and this info is not calculated correctly and please get this info for this. And now I know how. So like I may as well keep doing, not my not the return itself, but like the books um, myself now that I know what's going on with them because hiring a bookkeeper is pretty expensive. And if there's one thing that you have going for you as a content creator, it ain't health benefits, it ain't dental benefits. You're paying for your own glasses. But you got low overhead. <laughs> you can set some money aside for that. <laughs> what do you hear it is? Blah, 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 blah. Treats. What is the name of the site that makes up what Twitch streamers make? I don't know, but it's fantasy, I'm sure. It's very, it also, I'm sure, varies wildly because a lot of people make most of their money from sponsorships. Um, if you have lucrative sponsorships, and especially if you've managed to keep them after the industry kind of squeezed, because for a while, Companies and had kind of like an open faucet on ad spend and they were putting a lot of it into influencers. Um, and then there came a point kind of like 
mid to late pandemic where a lot of them did layoffs, a lot of them um, tightened up the books in those areas. So a lot of the really juicy sponsorships kind of dried up. And depending on whether or not you've got like long contracts or not, um, you may or may not be doing better or worse. Um, I'm sure some people do basically the same thing as I do and make like wildly more money because they do more sponsored stuff. And that's something I'm just going to have to live with. <laughs> when are you streaming Raid Shadow Legends? Is that what I need to know? I looked at one recently. I thought about it. There was the Adpocalypse, like 2016. Social Blade does that, among others. Mm -hmm. The best video that I ever saw on, on talking about like where creator money comes from was Disguise Toast did a breakdown once. And that was, it was a while ago, so it's a bit dated, but like it was, it was a good... I found that to be fairly accurate and also helpful as I was a creator and I was like, how much do I charge for stuff? Should, am I, should I be making money from XYZ thing? That video was very good. <sighs> yeah. I'm not saying I won't do sponsorships, I probably, I really should. I just want to get, I want to get stable first, both uh, mentally and also in terms of like content output. I want to get into a good rhythm where doing like uh doing doing some extra work for a sponsor won't completely capsize my ship <sighs> okay you also want to be making some content worth putting ads on what are we doing we are leaving this instance group how large of a donation to choose your hair color oh man i had a twisted thought which was what if <laughs> for a fundraising stream i had a timer and you had to donate you didn't have to, but like the idea was that you donate to prevent me from shaving my head. And then when the timer runs out, um, then I, then I go bald again <laughs> because, uh, that I, I don't, I, I don't think it's a good idea, but it felt funny. <sighs> I think it would be upsetting because people would be like, wait, don't do it. So they would spend money, but it would ultimately happen anyways thinking a timer to wear various hats. Just do it for summer. <sighs> Sabathon, but it's for days to grow your hair out. That <laughs> actually might work. <sighs> Although then I can't complain about people talking about my hair if I've decided to try to make money off it. Although if people are going to talk about it anyways, should I not just get paid? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like the, the bald versus hair crowds like fighting it out and I'm just like pocketing away down payment for my house. Or at least, you know, putting some furnishings on it, gutter cleaning. I was watching a crow take like a stick and a bunch of gunk, fly up into someone's gutter and tuck it away on purpose. And I'm like, how do people with gutters keep them clean when not only does stuff fall off of trees, but the birds are actively taking it from the ground and stashing it in your gutters. Like crows use those as like storage lockers. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Hmm. If it takes off, you can't shave your head in your lifetime again. For enough money, I would that would be all right. <laughs> I will take on the 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 labor of the blow drying and the shower cap and whatever, or just looking crazy with long hair. Um, for enough money, <laughs> would that is a fun question? Oh, how much money to never shave my head in my lifetime? I feel like there would have to be a um, there would have to be like uh, an eventual end date of like. I don't know, 10 years or 20 years or something like that. What if I actually like had an illness where my hair fell out, you know? <laughs> Roughly a mortgage paid in full. Yeah. <laughs> 600,000 Canadian dollars. It's covered in the fine print. Mm. 600K for 20 years. Hard. I really like having short hair. <laughs> also in 20 years. I feel like part of the problem when people tell me to grow my hair out, I feel like the problem is that they want me to look more attractive to their idea of what they find attractive because they're confused. And they would prefer long hair for that, right? Because like they wouldn't go up to like their grandma and be like, Nana, you should grow out your hair. This little short look's not working for me. It's like, it's tied to that. So like in 20 years when I'm 52, I don't think they would care so much anymore. 
<sighs> yeah, imagine just the horrific split ends. <laughs> what your streams would look like in 20 years. <laughs> my sound is still all over the place. I turn my I turn my gain up, by the way. If I start peaking horrifically, um, I can t twitch it down, but I'm trying to solve the Hazel's Too Quiet problem. It is a problem. Cathandrian, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Mm. What am I doing? I should ask. Slash I. What do? Did we do the dungeons? We did the scenarios. Oh, we need to do a heroic dungeon still. That's right. <laughs> I need to stay on the ball because we only have an hour left and I need to do raids too. I'm just a uh, little, little all over the place. Oh, the threads feel so good. And now, like, that's right. Don't know why you get so much grief about it. I have short hair too. Love how easy it is to get ready in the morning. Yeah, honestly, I don't get that much grief about it. I'm sure there are plenty of people that get a lot more pushback for choices like that in different areas and in different like spheres of their lives and internet and whatever. Um, you guys are on the whole quite chill. It's usually people that are not are new here that are like, "Why hair short? You look like boy," as though that's a problem. <laughs> grief you do get still sucks. I think so too. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> It does drive me nuts. I will I will confess that. I shouldn't, because you're not supposed to tell people when they bother you, but it makes me crazy. Don't think you could pay my dad to grow his head ba hair back? Gotten too used to the convenience of not having head hair. It just feels so nice when you've, like, freshly cut it, and it's real short, and then you get in the shower. My scalp also got a lot better after I got it short. I'm sure it's possible to maintain a healthier scalp with longer hair and curly hair and like have everything be peaceful, but it was difficult for me and I was not doing a good job of it. Uh, do you find you get a bit less grief now that your hair isn't buzzed short or am I imagining that? A little bit. the old a thousand nice things to say and you listen to the one negative one bs brains too yeah it's just kind of part of the side effect of being online but like i just i don't know grown out enough that i don't want to go through that unmanageable middle state no cowlicks in the morning i'm kind of digging the curly mullet that I'm starting to slowly get into. I've got like I've got like some some messy curls growing down the back of my neck. And for the moment, it's just making me want to wear like a crop t-shirt and a biker jacket and like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go <laughs> in that outfit. Nowhere. All I do is walk my dog. Side effect of being a person sadly. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. The neat thing about learning to, the neat thing about learning to, what's the end of that sentence? I don't know. Learning new emotional skills is that you can learn to recognize when you're hung up on or you're like replaying um, related thoughts about something like that in your head. And then you can be like, oh, <laughs> that's this thing. And it's come up again. That's all right. And then I can usually just like turn it down. I, like, as soon as I catch myself, like, thinking about it or being annoyed about it, I can usually be like, yep, this is that thing. It sucks. <laughs> it's, it is what it is, and there's nothing that you need to do about it. When I find myself, like, ruminating on something or being anxious about something, I try to do a little litmus test of, like, is there something that I actually need to do about it? Because sometimes I'm worrying about something because I should be doing something and I'm not doing it. And in that case, my worry is performing, like, a pretty vital function of, like, hey, deal with this thing. Deal with this thing. Don't do what you always do. And pretend it's not there until you really have to deal with it. Just do it now. Do it. Do it now. That's usually, not usually, but that is sometimes what my, what my, like, anxious thoughts are about. But if it's about something that you literally can't do anything about anymore, like, uh, you know, like you, I don't know, you're embarrassed because people saw you trying to park, like, four times in a row or, you know, there's a million things that you can, like, rehash that, that are, like, basically done and finished and nothing needs to be done you can be like all right i'm thinking about that thing again that's cool <laughs> moving on 
denim or leather sleeveless jacket. <laughs> mm. My scalp was dry when I wasn't bleaching it. It was bad when I had the natural curly hair. It had been over a year since I had dyed my hair when I had that problem. Husband and I haven't cut our hair in like two years. Two guys with shoulder length hair. That curly hair is awesome. <laughs> I used to have a death hawk, so I'm biased. I think the mullet hawk style is super cute. My sister-in-law has a mullet. They make it work. Orange and blue looks kind of pearlescent. <laughs> Do your taxes. Do them. Check your email. Sign that thing. It's probably in there. A oh, thousand stamina. Link to the Panda Remix Collection Week, Aura. Uh, It's called Panda... Bronze completion. I don't have a link handy, but I can Google one for you. And I'm going to put it into my news video tomorrow, but in the meantime, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. The kindergarten story. That sucks. Oh, do I have a biker jacket? Uh, no. I have a couple of... I have way too many coats, but they're like practical coats. You know, like raincoats and... <laughs> things to keep the weather away from you. Almost collected everything. Want to make sure Hazel biker jacket fun time. I have no need to buy a biker jacket because I'm not gonna wear it anywhere. Um... I've realized that I used to like dream up different like looks to do and be like, okay, I want to wear these clothes. I'm going to do this look. And I would like shop and I would get things and I'd be like, yeah, this is it. And then I would be like, where are you going to wear this? You're walking your dog. You're maybe going to the grocery store. What are you going to look like super overdone at the dentist? And it's like, yes, you can. Um, the hygienist will give you compliments, but like, <laughs> you know, for what? It's a... Uh... I think I would feel differently if I was spending a lot of time in a social environment where lots of people were expressing themselves through fashion and it was kind of a kind there was like a I don't know like when you were a kid and you're going to school or like going to high school that felt like a like assuming that you didn't go to like a uniform high school um clothing was like important for like marking out your identity and expressing yourself and trying to figure out who you are at a time that you're all figuring that out and, uh, I don't, I don't know. I guess I could wear stuff on stream, but it just seems silly. <laughs> Got a bike with a sidecar for Miss. I need my vehicles to have four wheels on the ground. Jackets are super warm, built to resist the wind. You look cool walking your dog in it. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I joined a biker gang, it would make more sense. <laughs> Fashion expressions wearing Christmas pajamas in June. Keep your wheels on the ground. <laughs> Dressed up going to the dentist, they would be nicer to you. They're very nice at the dentist. <laughs> what do you mean? No one's ever been mean to me at the dentist. They've like done mean things to my mouth, but that's just their job. <laughs> if you weren't exclusively on stream, could you write it off on taxes as a business expense? Technically, yes, but you have to kind of weigh what are the odds that I think that this is going to raise a side eye from somebody and trigger an audit? And do I want to deal with explaining it to somebody should that come up? Because you'd have to be able to prove that that's what that is for kind of thing. Um, so I'm pretty conservative with what I claim because um, I, don't, I just don't want to go there. <laughs> if not Biker Hazel, what about Biker Kira? <laughs> She's got the expression for it. She does a good, like, mean mug. <laughs> Just always have lunch on stream. Um, okay. Well, we're not looting that, are we? <laughs> okay, we did Nelik. We've done some dailies. We have loads of bronze. Let's get... Back out of here. 
And then I'm gonna I'm gonna give Flab later here because I'm <laughs> dropping the ball and getting us into stuff. Have a mortgage paying stream. <laughs> I keep running over here to like spend my bronze, but like that's I <laughs> it's not I don't need to upgrade my gear, my gear's upgraded. 150,000 threats. <laughs> Are you now drowning in bronze? I've been dumping it into the vendors. I didn't have to. I've got my kid kit right here. I got some good cuddle time with my puppy this morning. On a nice walk. I've been doing some more training with him. I bought him a really cute collar. And it hasn't gotten here yet. And I'm really impatient. <laughs> He's gonna look so handsome in it. And I don't know when it gets here. <laughs> Are you still jogging? Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, I did, not yesterday, but the day before. <sighs> We've been doing longer walks with Moose, though, because he's been going faster. Um, I don't know why, but when he wears this no-pull harness, he also, he doesn't pull, but, like, we get, we, we move more. He doesn't stop for as many things. Um, he's just kind of trotting along going, so we're able to like, cover a lot more ground and do much bigger walks within the same, like, length of time. Coming down with a cold, but my kitty knew that yesterday, so we decided the best way to fix it was to lay in my chest. Aww. Does Moose know how to play fetch? He is familiar with some of the basic concepts. Depending on the situation, he may or may not be interested in actually bringing it back. If we're, like, at home, he'll- I can get- I can throw a ball, like, a handful of times, and he'll bring it back to me. So that I can throw it again. And he'll even drop it on my lap so I can actually do it instead of having to make me pry it out of his mouth. But, like, if there's any dogs that he could be playing with instead, he's gonna do that. Um, if they're chasing a ball, he'll chase them chasing their ball. And he might even thieve their ball to attempt to get them to play with him. But, uh, yeah, if you, if, like, if there's, like, a dog over here and a ball over here, that ball does not exist. <laughs> No take, only throw. <sighs> Thinking about starting it again, but did the next best thing, watch YouTube videos about running. I find the thing that usually makes me want to run is looking through my stupid smartwatch metric data of my previous workouts and my trends and stuff to be, cause that makes it like a game for me. If I can look at like my trends of like my cardio performance and my oxygen, whatever, and Clearly I'm absorbing all this information <laughs> and like, you know, like average, like length and paces and stuff like that. And then I can go, well, I wonder what it would be like if I did it now. And then I like track the workout and stuff. Um, I, I like doing that. <sighs> My pup's response to fetch was more or less, no, I want to chase you. Did I level up since last time? What about compared to last month? Mm -hmm. Recently I was framing going for a run is less about like, I must do the best run I can and like go really fast or like keep this pace up and not walk. And I've been more like, I'm going to get outside for a while. I'm going to go out by myself and I'm going to gonna spend some time with my thoughts and I'm going to get my heart rate up and get some exercise. And it's fine if I run and walk for a while. It doesn't really matter where I go. Um, doesn't really matter if it's super long or not super long or whatever. Like I'm not like pushing myself to like keep sprinting up the hill or anything like that. I'm just like, I'm going to go move around, break a sweat. And just, like, decompress. Um, I've been kind of looking at it more as, like, a me time thing than as, like, a I have to do this super grueling thing that I hate doing. Because sometimes running sucks. <laughs> and I like to remind myself that anything is better than nothing. Um, even if you don't get it for very long, I always do a lot better if I can just, like, go get, like, 20 minutes of like elevated heart rate now and then. Um, anything is better than nothing. 
You want to know about one of the videos about running I watched? I swear I'm going somewhere with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? There's an app that simulates you running from zombies in a supply run of the apocalypse. That was, like, really popular a long time ago. I remember reading articles about it in, like, I don't know, early iPhone days, I think. Another way? Then I can go back to running. I'm looking forward to it. Another week. Mm, nice. Thought Pokemon Go would get me to walk more, but I just walk a few feet, then stop every two seconds. I thought my dog would get me to walk more. But as it turns out, I was already walking a lot. <laughs> and I just brought my dog with me. And I still will sometimes, and this is evil of me, monster, big confession, I sometimes go for walks without my dog. Um, sometimes I go for walks without my dog. Because sometimes your dog has had enough walks and he's sleeping. And you just want to go for a walk without, with like with just like head in clouds categorizing your thoughts and not not putting so much of your focus into i think it might be different maybe one day when he's like fully fully grown and we're like super giga used to each other it's a lot easier to walk with him than it used to be but you still want to keep an eye on him you want to keep an eye on like what kind of things is he watching is he focused on a cat is he focused on a dog is he stopping for this person is he eating something what is he eating whatever you're eating don't you know <laughs> like it's 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 a full-time job while you're walking him and sometimes you just want to go for a stroll and not there's my confession <laughs> is he eating someone top 10 anime betrayals dog in shambles um yeah he gets he gets plenty of outside time but sometimes we need a little extra the video is four hosts predicting their 5k time and then run it without checking their watches was it I mean, you can spoil it for me. Were they faster or slower than I thought they would be? Or was it like a mix of both? Speaking of categorizing, have you seen any of the neighborhood cats? We did a evening walk recently and it's cat hour is great right now because in summer days are super long. So you can go out at like seven, eight, nine o'clock at night and it will still be light outside, but it's definitely like dim and dusky, which is when cats tend to be active and like out and stuff like that. So especially if you go for a walk around that time and you don't bring your dog with you, you're going to see a lot more cats. <sighs> One of them predicted 30 minutes with the idea that he could run at a conversational pace, hit about 30. Problem is they were alone and just vlogging. And and he started talking to the camera for 30 minutes about the plot of Gilmore Girls. <sighs> yeah, recording anything will like double the time it takes you to do it. That is the... <laughs> That is a truth that you learn pretty early if you try to make videos, is that there's the time it takes you to do a thing, and then the time it takes you to record yourself doing the thing. Even if you're not planning on, like, doing it in a super specialized way, and you just want to record the way you normally do it, and then do all the work and editing later, it's still going to take you twice as long. Looked at the window at 9pm, kind of shocked at the sunlight. Mm. I love it this time of year. As, well, I'm also not far enough north for it to be, like, a problem. If you go all the way north, then it's, like light you know 22 23 hours out of the day <sighs> um which i think is the point in which you invest in the good blackout curtains i don't know <laughs> yes yes it is <sighs> but i like it it's i love i love summer hours i hate winter <laughs> hours conversely but it's nice right now Watch your step. Love the short days of winter nighttime watching the stars. Target you. I like checking in with the moon. I don't remember ever seeing the dark side of the moon before I came here. I'm sure it was visible. I think I just didn't look up enough. But here sometimes you'll have like crescent moon, but you can totally see, like, especially if it's still a little bit light outside, but like it's dark enough that the moon's really bright, you can totally see like the visible part of the moon and then the rest of it, and it's just so cool. Do many of the cats ask for pets or do they smell moose? Um, not as many cats as used to, but I think it's because I don't know them. Back before I got moose, like they're, they're different cats now, like people move. There's, there's one or two of them that are the same, but a lot of them are gone and there's a lot of new cats now. 
And I used to rep grind with these cats. Like I would introduce myself and I would stop and I would like say hi or wave or whatever. And then sometimes it would be on the third or the fourth time that you saw a cat that would be like, okay, hey, what's up? And then you could pet the cat. I haven't really rep ground with these cats. And also you're right, I smell like a dog. <laughs> I 100% smell like my dog. So I, mo I mainly get to pet the cats that I already know. There's at least two that are baby that when I see them, they'll be like, hey. There's one of them that's so determined she'll come up to me with the dog. Um, and I don't I don't know if I trust Moose to be cool around a cat that he doesn't know yet, so. <laughs> we don't do that. Oh. Bronze, 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 bronze. World tours go so good. What time is it? 9.53. I was not super, well, it's morning. When am I ever gonna be super efficient? Shouldn't expect that. Oh. High honored with every cat by default, I think. I can see you leaning over and be like, be cool, Moose. We literally say that to him. It's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually pinned a command onto it. Um, but we are working on him being a little more chill about things that are approaching that he's excited about. <sighs> One thing that we'll do is sometimes... Between my partner and I, one of us will take Moose for a walk and the other person will catch up with them later. Like they'll be finishing something, but then like part of the way through the walk, they'll like go out and find them. So you can have one person walking Moose and then halfway through the walk, the other person like approaches and is like, oh, hey. And every single time, even though he saw you like 15 minutes ago, he um, gets so excited to see you. So that's a good chance for us to practice though. Okay, be, be calm. You can say hi in a second, but just like, you know, all right, relax, <laughs> sit down. Deep breaths, shake it off. It's hard. And it's hard because all you want to do is like run up to him, give him a huge hug and have him like bite you in the nose. <sighs> Best way to get bronze, 361 item level. Daily quests are really good. Getting your three bizarre dailies and knocking those out is going to be nice and fast. Famous cats living in Victoria. The Vitamix cats who went viral for sitting on their owner's Vitamix box and not letting them unbox it. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I did not know we had famous cats. I mean, we have this famous cat. She lives in Victoria, but you'll never see her on the streets because she lives inside. Kitted, I think you're famous. Someone knows you. Did Kira have to apply for a green card when she moved to Canada? Theoretically, I needed to provide papers um, certifying that she had had her rabies vaccine updated. And I, like, had the vet, like, print all that information out. And I had it in, like, a special folder. And then I got to the border and I was like, Is it you? you got any animals? And I'm like, I got a cat. And they're like, okay. <laughs> and I'm, like, sitting there with the folder, like, waiting for them to ask for it. And they're like, okay, see ya. Um... They were not concerned. I mean, I'm sure it varies based on person and you should definitely still have the right information, but it was pretty funny. <sighs> That's your adopted child. I'm sure that Kira is Canadian. I call her a Canadian catizen. Happy to admire Kira through my phone screen. Is this beta? This is remix. We go into toes, maybe? Toes? Yeah. Hmm. Always wondered what I would do if I ran into you at the store. Probably have a fangirl moment from far away to not bother you. It's never happened to me, and I don't know what I don't know what my policy is because it's never happened to me. It happened to me a couple of times in Oregon that I would like meet someone that knew me from the internet. But um not not here so far. <sighs> I think it would depend on if I was like out somewhere at like an event or just like walking around the neighborhood. I feel like I would be more comfortable to say hi with somebody if I was like at like a mall or I was like at the Inner Harbor or, you know, someplace that's like <laughs> big and public and doesn't obviously pin me to precisely where I live. Are you on the same rate as me? Maybe. 
Is, uh, I'm Squidgy and there's also Flooby here. Not the same raid, but doing the same rotation. If Moose was there, I'd probably have to say hello, sorry. <laughs> Moosey does love to meet people. He wants to sniff them. He's like, I sniff you. You don't touch my head. I sniff you. And then he'll be like, Bum! and then he'll do his like big play bow jumpy thing. Are we going? We're going. But I do really like having the nice clean boundaries of like doing the internet thing online like safely from here and then out in the world doing the normal person thing. I like that I'm not actually famous. I think that it would be a difficult thing for me if I was in a different industry and I was somehow like genuinely famous. I think that would freak me out a lot. He has a no head touch thing. If someone tries to pat him on the head, he won't like get upset or like bite you or anything, but he'll duck it for sure. Uh, he'll kind of like duck down and jump away and then just like bounce around a lot trying to play. Um, and a lot of people are like, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. And like, he's not scared. He's just not going to let you touch his head. Superman here. Clark Kent in the world. <laughs> For a hot minute when I was wearing the wigs all the time, I was like, listen, if I just get people really used to how I look in the wig and then I'm like super short hair outside of it, I'll be harder to recognize because it won't be what you're used to looking for. But then I didn't want to wear them anymore, so <laughs> rip. I exist today. How is everyone? Hello, Scarlet. I'm good today. I was telling chat earlier, I'm happy. <laughs> Because I prepaid my taxes for this year, which means that I'm getting some more with my books. And it means that I got to find out whether or not I'm broke. And I'm not quite broke. <laughs> if I ever get a mortgage, then I'll be broke. But missed that part. Oh, it felt so good. <laughs> it's also so much nicer. It's easier to give the CRA my money than it was to give the IRS my money. I can literally pay my CRA, the CRA through online banking. It's so easy. Not quite broke is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone at the local outlet mall. They looked like you, but the Bangs version of Hazel. Mm. <sighs> Finley didn't appreciate head pets. Neck rub scratches were his thing. Mm -hmm. If Moose has met someone a couple times and he's gotten to know them, they can get like the, the, the scruff scritches. Or like maybe the side body scritches. I think I've trained him to like butt scratches because like now he, if I'm at home on the couch and he wants some love, he'll kind of like walk up to me and then scoot along so that he's kind of like put the back half of his body right in front of me. And then he'll be like, mom, hey, do the thing, please. Collides. I am free of American taxes now. My books are still really complicated because a lot of my money comes from America, so I need to keep track of foreign exchange gains based on a bunch of stuff. But um, because I am living in Canada and working in Canada and a resident of Canada, and I'm not, I don't have any legal ties to the States anymore, they cannot keep my money. They could for at least one bonus year because of how long I lived there, but it expired. Hazel Nutty International. I should be clear, butt scratches on the dog are like the top of his hips and back. They're not like <laughs> you're not you're not scratching his actual butt. <laughs> Just to be technical about it. He sheds a lot from, from the back half of his body. I feel like the hair works backwards. Hindquarters, yeah. <laughs> there must be somebody that, that has never done that with a dog that's like, wait, you did what? <laughs> you gave your dog pets where? Jail. Straight to jail. <laughs> hmm.
face of the tail. They love it. Yeah. I think it's because he sheds so much from there, so it must get kind of itchy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they're doing heart now. Oh, Siege. I have 28 minutes. I don't have time for Siege. Maybe we can find a heart of fear group. Uncle had a lab whose tail would wag so violently it would give people bruises. I It takes 40 minutes to get through Siege, just like when you're clearing it solo in retail. It's just a long raid. The RP alone. Um, okay, maybe a Heart of Fear? Oh, we, oh, yeah, I guess we could just duo it. That's right. We don't even need a group. Yeah. How about a plunder storm? Never done this before. First time for everything. Every now and then, Trove Tally makes a little sound and it goes blink and it means that I got a new weapon appearance that I didn't have before and I kind of enjoy that. Getting some greens here and there. I've got all of the heroic tier 14 raid weapons. When am I going to farm normal Throne of Thunder for stuff? Does not sound like me. I guess I'm going to have to actually make sure I fly there too. I can't get a summon because... There's only two of us. Oh. Can't help myself rears. I guess they're not even that good compared to spools now, but... You know, if they're right there anyway. Yeah, I think we're going to try in two minutes. It'll be fun to see how it goes. Uh, do I have my, my Drake cookie? I only recently started using these Drake treats. They fully refill your vigor and also give you a little boost of flying speed, which is nice if your bird's out of gas and you're flying around uh, Pandaria. But for a while I had them stashed in my bank because I wasn't using them while I was leveling. <laughs> but yeah, little dog bones are great. I'll use the cat so I have lust. I never did get a better uh, thing. Yeah, I guess I should do details. <laughs> We're calling this duoing hard of fear heroic, but I think that's a bit generous. <laughs> kind of want them to rework survival into a tank? Give me a reason to only have tenacity pets. I like tenacity pets for any raid where I'm worried about dying to rot. If you don't need to be the lust, having an extra 8% health is pretty sweet. Phase change. Phase change. I think I'm gonna 
miss the Pandaria raids and scenarios after Remix is over. I've gotten kind of used to it. They're kind of comfy. <laughs> what is your goal in WoW right now? Also, hello! Hello! I am aiming to collect everything off the vendors in Remix right now. And then I will probably take a look at the trove tally, like the weapons, the unique weapons, and see if there's anything that I specifically want to clean up. So that I can like kind of get my remix collecting done, hopefully before whenever they decide to drop the war within pre-patch. That's where I'm at. I'm at 476. I finally got all my gear upgraded. That was my goal for a long time was to get a character fully upgraded on remix, but I did that. So now I'm grinding bronze. Do you think there will be unforeseen issues with remix? Once pre-patch hits. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. They broke the drag. I wasn't playing Dragonflight at the time, but like a couple days ago, they broke the Dragonflight season. They had to like fix it overnight. Okay, mechanics. Sometimes it seems like this game is held together with spit and thoughts. Prayers. Hallmark greeting cards. No! Remix has been so fun, though. I feel like for their first try at this concept, they hit it out of the park. I've had a great time. I've been so busy. I feel like I've been playing like it's an expansion launch, but like during the end of the expansion. <laughs> Flappy said I crank for a fresh 476. And I am taking issue with the phrase fresh 476 because I swear no matter how strong you get in Remix, the goalposts are always moving <laughs> oh man as soon as you get to level 70 okay well no you're a fresh 70 you're gonna need some gear as soon as you get to like 400 all right you're 400 but once you get to 440 and then you're 440 it's like okay I'll, you know 476 you're gonna be doing big damage and you get to 476 it's like congrats you're a fresh 476 Group last night doing three and a half million damage wasn't even top eight. Uh, after 476, you can get more threads. I'm sure Flabby's cloak has dramatically more threads than mine does. My cloak is giving me 14k main stat, and his cloak is giving him 19k main stat. But Flabby's also a gamer. <laughs> I keep forgetting to lust. Fresh 476 here. Have you gotten to 50k points in Junimo Kart? Absolutely not. I'm no good at any of the mini games in Stardew. I just play... I wanted so badly to do a challenge run and then I read all of them and I was like, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the game like normal. <laughs> oh, look at me, I've got a Metal Lands farm. Oh, I've got chickens. <laughs> wow, I don't know how I'm gonna afford things without these 20 free turnip seeds. Oh no. Parsnip seeds, pardon me. Um, I just, I'll, I'll talk and no absolutely no follow through when it came to doing anything interesting in stardew but it's like my me time game it's my it's my relaxing my relaxing me time game Beware. so um, <laughs> i'm being spoiled turns out duo wing heart of fear not too bad especially with flabby doing 50 million damage I'll talk and no parsnips make people have no parsnips. Solo it tomorrow. Oh, I don't think it would be like a wildly successful format of content, but streaming it would be one one reason to do like a wacky Stardew challenge run. Because I feel like streaming, watching me play normal Stardew would be really boring because I just do it normally, right? And it's like, oh man, <laughs> I grew some vegetables. I'm saving these ones for this person because they really like those as a gift. I'm gonna get all their heart meters up. 
Um, look at me making wine. Like, I play a very mid, middle of the road version of Stardew where I, you know, like to eventually kind of set up like a winery situation, but I don't make it super pretty. I don't like fill the railroad with kegs or anything like that. I like to do them just in sheds in my farm because I'm not like min maxing every square inch of space on the farm or anything. I just I do it pretty normally. <laughs> you'd have to do it some you'd have to do it in some something something extra if you were gonna try to stream it. I mentioned this earlier. I haven't watched these videos yet. I feel like I need to. Somebody did some kind of Stardew Challenge run where they literally only leave the farm once a year, and that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and it sounds so interesting to me, except that, like, you can't do almost anything because you're stuck on your farm. So things like tool upgrades, mat farming, etc., etc., like, it all gets way more complicated, which is what makes it interesting. Um, the Hermit playthrough, yeah. There's also the Rip Van Winkle challenge where you sleep through your first two years by repeatedly going to bed and then you start the game in your third year so that your entire farm is overgrown to being basically like impossible to get out of. <laughs> this is heroic. And I'm not really doing my finest work either. This boss could potentially be a problem. This boss can mind control people. Oh, and it's taking reduced damage now. Oh, Flabby's also mind controlled, so I need to, I think, kill him to 50% so that he can get out. I don't know. I don't actually know the mechanics in this fight. I never did learn them. What do... <laughs> kill? Am kill. <sighs> if you're doing mechanics and remix, something's gone terribly wrong. Oh, hang on. Made a friend. Four seventy six. I'm four seventy six. I've fully upgraded my gear. I've got about one hundred and fifty four k threads in my cloak. Don't mind me clearing trash. <laughs> This way, okay. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Stressed out by Stardew. Taking timer. Too many things to keep track of. I always feel like I'm wasting time. The thing I tried to remember in my first playthrough was that nothing happens if you run out of time. Like, the worst thing is that maybe something you wanted to do, you run out of time in a season. But then you can do it the next time the season rolls around. And there's usually something else you can do in the meantime. There's no, like, huge penalty for, oh man, you hit year three and you didn't do all the candles or anything. Like, you, have, you can take as long as you want to, to work on it. But yeah, I find myself trying to optimize time as much as possible. I pause a lot when I'm playing solo. I'll use menus to pause the time passing. And, uh, and like, try to plan out what it is that I want to do in a day. A little haphazardly, but more or less. What if your character dies of long age? Metagaming. Love your little grub pet. Thank you very much. His name is Harold. <laughs> I have I have Harold the Grub, Hilda the Crane, Huey is the the Water Strider bug, 
I'd love to die of long age. I usually play with my wife, so no pausing. I did a multiplayer run recently, and the lack of pausing stressed me out because I was used to being able to, like, if I was opening a chest. Oh, uh oh, we're throwing up. Um, hang on. Not on the stream. So I see we killed the boss. <laughs> All right, careful, kitty. I'm gonna switch the chair. Okay, you ready? Cat seatbelt. Cat seatbelt. Cat seatbelt. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hang on. This is why we don't wear loose clothing. <laughs> I'm doing up my top button. I'm full nerding it. Hang on. Not trying to flash anybody. Okay. All right. I got you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's okay. She's all right. <laughs> Born of the Northern Sea, thank you for the 37-month reset. Happy days, Hazel. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> Flabby's cooking the gnomes. <laughs> Excuse me. Hang on, I gotta go loot my bronze. <sighs> Just about a hairball. Sometimes cats throw up. Always good to check in with your vet about um, about it, because sometimes it is a problem, and sometimes cats throw up. I, uh... Mm. <laughs> sure, let's comfy, cool, I'll button all the way up. <laughs> I'm not usually a, a straight, straight-buttoned kind of person, but... <sighs> Hi, how are you doing? Why is your gnome so fast? I have... Double Trailblazer, which is like 30% movement speed when I'm at Banana Combat for a little bit. And then I have um, speed for my cloak. And then I get another 12% speed from my pet. So I am right now at 201%. And that's without all my Trailblazer. <laughs> um, it's phenomenal and I love it very much. Oh, I, I didn't pull out my last pet. Maybe I'll drums or something. Drums. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I had to really think about that sentence about the cat food for hairballs and stomach mixed together in a tub. <laughs> that makes more sense now that my brain has understood what you're trying to say. But she's gotten less fussy about her food this year, which we appreciate. Sucker for good button-up shirt, though. Apparently, speed speed caps out at forty nine percent from speed gems, and I'm already gaining forty seven point nine percent from my speed and my cloak. So speed gems would only give me another two percent. Science diet, bag of each mixed together. Mm. That does make sense. I had a brief horrifying vision of somebody mixing their cat's hairballs together to feed to something, and then I went, "That can't be right. <laughs> that's not that's not what anyone's trying to say." Oh, thank you very much. So later on today, off stream, if I'm feeling up to it, I still have lockouts for all versions of Siege, Throne of Thunder, but we've done the three regular raids. I've got true stat values for character stats, and then Deja character stats is giving the pain that has the information like on like uh, movement speed and stuff. And my list is right there. Has Squidgy persuaded you to be a hunter main? I don't think so, but maybe I need to go on like a like a retreat <laughs> to like really really figure it out. Oh look, I got a perky pug. <sighs> Cause priest, you know. But what if no one need me to heal? <laughs> what if they don't need me? <sighs> what are you mating in Borderlands? Mm. I did not loot some stuff apparently. Okay, I have almost 50,000 bronze to spend just from a morning of dailies. <laughs> I didn't even do all the raids. Doing Heroic Throne gives you tons of bronze. There's lots of those big caches at the end. What shall we buy here? I don't have any more bones slash toenails, so we can't get any more garage heirlooms. I was kind of working through raid finder sets. Let me turn my weak word. Eh. 
Let me double check it. 15 pound Siberian cat who likes to eat exercise mats. Oh no. 15 pounds. Do you think, um, do you think they are trying to get exercise and they're just confused about the mechanics of it? So I've got 50k bronze, we've got 408k remaining, um, 11 of 165 on raid finder sets. <laughs> this NPC sometimes just walks away from you while you're shopping, because she pats back and forth. And she's like closed my, my window a few times. And it always gets me... Love your power boosting method. You do? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Item upgrades. Yeah, I try and remember to always engage that NPC from like the middle of her spot, her padding. So like if she does decide to leave, this is who I need. Okay. So I am looking for sets that I am missing pieces of basically. Um, Even if I'm only missing two pieces, ugh, that's so annoying. <laughs> How does this happen? I've literally already used that ensemble on one of my characters and it insists that it is missing a shirt and some robes. How? These ones have all been used already. Some of them, like I know they did a thing so you can use them, but like it says I specifically use them. So like, do I just need to log into more characters? What's the deal? I'm gonna focus on the ones that don't. They don't confuse me yet. I'm just gonna buy as many as I can that are actually like useful for me. <laughs> Have to use again? <sighs> but I already bought it. <laughs> Why? I'm very whiny about this. And that one. Log out, log in, collect the items correctly. I wonder if I need to log into like a character of the right thing. That one says, I think that I might be able to get a few from. Maybe we'll come back to it. That one's new. All right, I'm about to collect so much transmog. Do you have to equip them in order to show you bought it? It doesn't give you actual gear. It's supposed to be just pe like appearances that that loot to your account. <sighs> I'll go back and do those ones at the very end of my grind, I think, if it's important to me. Um, expansion features world event remix. I'm almost done for the day, but I want to see. So I currently have, is that 69%? No, 50. Wait, 78. Hang on. Yeah, I have 69% <laughs> of Remix appearances collected currently, or Remix collectibles collected. And then we're gonna learn a bunch of Raid Finder sets. The hotfix, but it's not retroactive. Oh, so annoying. I demand um, an apology, a fruit basket, a bouquet of flowers, and one house, please. It's not picky, it doesn't need a big yard. Okay, fine, I'll take a pond. And then, let me log out and log back in. So we got lots of appearances. Let's re-log and stuff. Mirror just still finishing all the things? Nice. I don't really want a fruit basket. There's only so much fruit you can cope with in a day. Yeah, we made it up to 72%. So today's efforts gave me 3% of the remix stuff collected. That doesn't seem very good. Good. What's a different graph I can look at that's going to make me feel better? See, that's nice. That knocked 50k bronze off of my list. 
Maybe I was spending, and yeah, I need to spend apparently another 5k for raid finder sets according to this, but I think that's counting the ensembles that I've already learned as collected, and it's not worrying about like the little pieces that are missing. So like a later me problem. Only have the toy vendor, three mounts left to buy, then I'm done with remix, unless they don't want to farm the weapons. 3% every day will get you 100% soon. But by this metric, if I'm doing like 50 to 80k a day, I only have like another like three, four, five days left. Maybe a week. Actually, yeah, that checks out. <laughs> the math does kind of work out, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, these bars look better than they did. I'm mainly missing normal and heroic sets now. I've got a couple little gaps in world sets, but I'm not worrying about those too much. <sighs> I have not tried survival. Hmm. I've got two more toys left in the vendor, but I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with this. It goes pretty fast now, and I still have my my Orgamar and my Throne of Thunder to do later today if I have time. Yeah, yeah, there's loads of time left in remix. I just want to get it all like kind of wrapped up before I feel like I really want to be gaming in retail again, which I think is probably going to be around pre-patch time. I would love to get my remix goals done before pre-patch. And we don't know when pre-patch is, so I can't plan for that. But I would guess it'll be fine, because I think we'll have at least a month. Minimum. <sighs> yeah, 66 days on, re on Remix. It hasn't even been that long yet. It's been so fun. It's been such an adventure. Got your main for War Within sorted yet? Yeah, finally have. <gasps> what are you going to be playing? I'm pretty sure I'm playing my Priest. I think this is it. I think this is me. Unless I just blow a gasket and decide to be a hunter. I'm pretty sure I'm a Priest. What's for lunch? I think today, because of raid testing, is a booster juice kind of day. <laughs> Can I still finish Tyvan a pre-patch? Yeah, should be should be good. I don't think Tyvan is like a time-limited thing. I think you'll be able to work on that even in the War Within if you want. Going back to Lizard. <laughs> Excuse me, it's your bedtime. I know, I gotta go. I will be back tomorrow, and the weekend streams will be normal length streams. We will do three hour Hazel streams for Saturday and Sunday. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate your company, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs>